In February 2022, Iran announced the successful launch of its military reconnaissance satellite, NOAR-2. The launch was more than just a technical milestone. It symbolized a major step in Iran's push for independent space-based intelligence. But how did it happen? And what does the satellite actually do? Preparations for the NAR-2 mission began months before the rocket ever touched the launch pad. Engineers at the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps Aerospace Force oversaw the integration of the satellite into its launcher. Every component from fuel systems to control units was tested repeatedly to withstand the violent forces of launch. The mission relied on the three-stage Qased launch vehicle, a hybrid rocket powered by both liquid and solid fuels. This combination gave Iran more flexibility and greater reliability in placing payloads into orbit. On launch day, the Qased rocket roared to life, lifting off from a mobile platform in central Iran. Stage after stage separated cleanly, carrying the NOR-2 satellite higher and faster. After minutes of powered flight, the payload reached an altitude of about 500 kilometers, placing it firmly in low Earth orbit. For Iran, this was a critical success, demonstrating repeatable capability after its first NOR satellite in 2020. Once deployed, NOYOR-2 spread its solar panels and activated its onboard systems. Official reports described it as a reconnaissance satellite, designed to capture imagery of Earth and relay it back to ground stations. In low Earth orbit, satellites like NOR-2 can provide frequent revisits over key regions allowing Iran to monitor activities in areas of strategic interest. Back on the ground, antennas locked onto NOR-2's signal. Engineers confirmed stable communication links, sending commands and receiving the first packets of telemetry data. This step is critical. It proves that the satellite is not only in orbit but also operational. Data from the spacecraft includes health checks, imaging payload status, and eventually reconnaissance photos transmitted to secure command centers. For Iran, the NOYAR-2 launch was more than a scientific achievement. It represented independence in space technology, reduced reliance on foreign intelligence, and an ability to project surveillance capabilities across regional hotspots. Critics, however, argued that the technology could be dual use supporting not only civilian needs but also enhancing military operations. From careful preparation to the moment of receiving its first signals, the NOAA-R2 satellite launch showcased a growing space program determined to expand its reach. Whether seen as a symbol of progress or a cause for concern, one thing is clear. Satellites like NOAA-R2 are reshaping how nations see and secure their place in the world.